Hello, so um, today I'm going to show you what you need for a hamster binder. Like, I don't really have, I don't have mine set up yet because I was going to write everything, but I decided that I'm going to type everything up and print it. But, so, um, this, like, this is going to be my binder. It's a one inch binder. And I have a whole bunch of paper in here. And yeah. Um. Yeah. So. What you'll need is obviously a binder. Or, um. Uh, I'll show you another thing that you can do. Also, what you can use is like if you have a folder, a random folder, and if it has like these clips in here, like and they like close in the back, yeah, those work too. I have this and a binder, so I don't know which one I'm going to use though. But, um, what I'm going to put inside, well, because I'm going on vacation a lot this summer. I know it's not even close to summer, but I know, and I just got my hamster Wally on the day after Christmas. So yeah, um, and if you're going to get like a pet sitter or like a friend or someone to watch your hamster, then I would recommend having your binder with how to take care of them. So I have like a whole list of everything to like put inside like you could put like I'm just going to read off the list so I have what to feed and how much to feed the hamster like my hamster he's a robo door and um he only needs a tablespoon of food every day and yeah um if you're going to be away for like longer than a week then you're probably going to want to ask the person to clean the cage because they, sm they smell, they start to smell fast. Um, you can have like, I wrote meet Wally because like if you're going to have a pet sitter and they have no clue about your hamster, you want to tell like every single detail about him or her so they really know. Um, facts and tips about taking care of a hamster. You can have some pictures like of a healthy of a healthy hamster and like unhealthy and make sure because like I was thinking that I'm going to put like one column of pictures of healthy hamsters and another column of unhealthy. So like if he looks healthy then they'll know he's okay. If he looks like the other pictures the unhealthy then they need to call me or something. Um, Next I have diet and treats like hamsters something might like a proportion of food might look really really small to us but to them that's probably like a huge meal like a tablespoon of food to a hamster that's like this big that's probably pretty big okay um next i have what to do and what not to do like if you want someone to do like you want them to take them out and let them run around in their ball or in a playpen, then you can write that down. And if the person is not experienced, then do what not to do. Um, and then if it's in the winter, then you want to do tips on how to keep the hamster warm. If it's in the summer, then you want, um, tips to keep him cool, like so it's not like he gets heat stroke or anything. Um, also, you can have like this in the back, like your friends or whoever's going to watch your hamster doesn't have to do this, like, so I know you can make homemade hamster treats, so you can have like recipes and how to make toys and stuff like that, and also if you're having someone watch your hamster, always have like a contact list in the back, like with con like the names and the numbers. And yeah, so 
that's what I would put. Oh yeah. And also, if you want to make it cool, which I'm going to do this, I'm making a table of contents. And the first page is going to be the Meet Wally, which is my hamster. And then you can have the page number. And yeah. And then, yeah, that's it. And then, to make it, to make it free, I know I'm not just doing it just for now. I'm gonna like make this all pretty and stuff. But yeah, you can only, you don't have to buy like a brand new binder. I mean, this one isn't brand new. I had this in the beginning of the school year from my math class. This binder was too small. So, like, you know how binders have like this plastic covering? Well, originally the binder is like this, but I turned it around and flipped it upside down because when it was like this, some wrote on the plastic cover and it was looked really sloppy. So I cut it off so like it's not there, and then I just like flipped it and put it in here like this. And I know it's gonna be upside down because it's like flip the paper in from the bottom. And then if it has the pouches inside, like mine did, they were like green. I cut those off. So it doesn't even look like it was like that. But, um, yeah, that's it. And when I make the binder, it'll probably be like next week or something, or in a few days, I will post a video of it. And, yeah. Bye.